Well, it's Easter and we're still here. And I and millions of my fellow British citizens couldn't be more delighted about that. For me, it's wonderful to be... <laughs> For me, it's absolutely wonderful to be able to see through the mandate that I was given by the people of South West England and Gibraltar in 2014. And I'm equally delighted that the UK will be holding European elections in May, and Greens are going to use these democratic and proportional elections as a celebration of the values of the European Union. We will mobilise one of the most powerful pro-European forces in our continent, and we will champion a fairer, greener and more democratic EU. I'd like to thank the Council and particularly President Tusk for allowing us the breathing space to reconsider our vote to leave the EU. Building Europe has never been easy and he has shown the vision of the Founding Fathers who persevered in difficult times to welcome and even include those countries who were having difficulties at home, perhaps particularly those countries. As a Green MEP, I've always been tough on Brexit, but we also need to be tough on the causes of Brexit. We must address the issues that gave rise to feelings of powerlessness, of alienation, of being left behind that prompted so many of our fellow citizens to vote to leave in 2016. So, I wish my colleagues happy campaigns. Let's share a message of hope about the positive change that the European Parliament can bring to their lives. Let's resist the siren song of the far right with its politics of division, hate and fear. In Britain, a strong pro-European vote across the country will massively increase the chances of winning a future people's vote and convincing our fellow citizens that our best future is as part of the European family.